All right, so here we had three beautiful models who, here's the before, here's the after. So what we're gonna start with is we are duplicating a layer on PC, that's Control J or Mac Command J, pro tip. And then we're gonna jump right into removing blemishes. So here I really take my time. I'm gonna speed it up only because we're here for actions. Um, I will be teaching this in another course or another video. And now we're gonna jump into actually loading the action. So you can double click on the action or you can actually go about it how I am right now, which is loading the action. Loading the action will make it stick to Photoshop so that you won't have to do this in the future. From here, once you got the action loaded, then you can begin to paint on your image. You just wanna make sure that you don't paint over any details. So eyelashes, eyebrows, hair, ears, anything that's not just straight up skin, you wanna avoid just to keep those details. Later on, we'll be able to adjust that, but still, you really just wanna only hit the skin. If you go up to your little glow layer, this is gonna act as your dodge and burn. This is a really, really quick way to do it. It's not gonna be perfect as if you go in and just kind of dodge and burn yourself. But this one is more or less to emulate the dodge and burn technique. Next is gonna be where we are adjusting the opacity. That's gonna be how heavy you want that glow or that softening to be. Um, that's completely up to you. Everybody's a little different. Um, I like details, but I also do like softening of the skin. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, comment below. Let me know your feedback about the video and also the action. I would love to know what you'd like to see moving forward as far as actions, presets, tutorials, behind the scenes, anything else that you'd like to see. See you in the next video.